So for teachers who are trying to improve their um, practice around teaching statistics, what's one piece of advice that you would give them? The, the biggest piece of advice I would give is to, particularly for new teachers, talk to those who have been teaching statistics for, for a number of years. Could be someone at your school, maybe another school or another district. Get connected online somehow. But that I think that was something that really helped me tremendously when I first started teaching statistics. So my piece of advice would be focused in the classroom. And I would say when you, when you teach statistics with your students, do a lot of simulations. It's a very accessible way for students to start to understand inferential thinking. And um, the most important part is don't skip the physical simulations. Actually shuffle cards, draw from physical populations, and make dot plots, particularly ones that you can put on chart paper and save for later in the course and bring them out and say, remember when we did this. By doing the physical simulations, you give students the best chance they have to understand those abstract, more abstract uh, simulations and, and, um, and results that you see from technology and statistical packages. I'd really encourage them to um, seek out others um, in their own departments or even in other ways, on blogs online, to find a support system, to have others that they can talk to about the um, statistical ideas. Mm -hmm. um, there are any number of ways, Holly Lynn, you have a MOOC that they could take part in. There are all kinds of blogs where those that are very knowledgeable about statistics would be giving them opportunities to um, in engage in conversation that way. Find a buddy in your department that'll talk to you about this and y'all seek it out together and have real conversations. I think, I think you can also have conversations with your students about it. But um, the conversations are just going to deepen your understanding and, and really heighten your confidence.